Hey everyone and welcome back and today we're going to be looking at library management. How do we manage Python packages in our Fabric notebooks uh, when we want to do data engineering, data science in Microsoft Fabric? Well, there's many ways of doing this and I'm going to be walking through some of them and the pros and cons of each method just so you can understand which one is best for you in your specific use case that you want to carry out in your organization. Okay, so here we are in a notebook and the first method that we're going to look at for installing Python packages in kind of our workbook notebook environment is inline. So you're probably aware if you've used IPython notebooks before that you can use a few commands to install packages within the notebook itself. So one example would be something like this. So if you use the exclamation mark, what that's going to do is install that library in line, but it's going to, in this Spark environment, it's only going to install it on the driver node, not on any of the executors, the workers. So that's something to bear in mind there. So if you want to install packages on the driver and all of the worker nodes, then you can do it like this, just with a single uh, percentage sign plus pip install Altair and your package name. So that's how you would do that in line to get a package on your driver and all of your executor nodes. So this is useful for when we're doing like work in progress stuff, we're just playing around a bit, we're just like not really caring much about maintainability. It's just getting that library into our notebook environment very quickly so that we can do some script or play around a bit. Now what you do have to bear in mind though is that when you close this Spark session, that library is just going to go away. So if you open up another notebook and another session, that Altair library is not going to be available to you. So if you set up a, a data pipeline, for example, and it doesn't have this cell in here and you're triggering the execution of that notebook within the pipeline, it's not going to recognize that package, so it's going to fail. So that's kind of inline package management or installing packages. The other way that we've looked at previously, but I'm just going to go over again, is to use library management. So let's flick over back to our workspace and explore what this looks like. So if we go to our workspace here, and if I click on these three buttons and workspace settings, so you can see here you've got the data engineering, and data science, library management. So this is where we're going to be managing all of our libraries centrally. Now this is a much better idea for organizations to manage all of your libraries in this library management tool because number one you can ensure that everyone who's working in that workspace is using the same set of packages, they're at the same versions crucially and you know they're going to be updated at the same frequency for everyone working in that workspace. It's very easy to add new libraries so probably the main way is to get it from PyPI which is the Python package manager. So here you just type in the name of the library that you want, for example, Altair. And by default, you can have the latest version, but you can also select a specific version in the past that you want to always download this library at. So that's very useful as well. And then once we click apply, I'm just gonna use 5.1.1. Then when we click apply, that's gonna install it onto our kind of base configuration of Spark so that every time you start a notebook, that library is gonna be available to you every time. You don't have to install it. So there's a few other ways that we can add packages. So if I just delete this. So there's also from Conda. So Conda also has its own kind of uh, package management way of installing pa uh, Python packages outside the base Conda distribution. We can also add custom libraries. So we can upload files, right? So for example, here I've got a, a, a wheel file, a WHL wheel file, which is a Python rep representation of a package, but it's just a kind of exportable Python package. So if I apply that, that's another way that we can bring in custom libraries into our environment, right? And then it's going to take a few minutes to uh, install these in, in your environment. But then once it's up and running, you don't have to do anything else. It's just they're available to you every time you want to use Fabric in this workspace. Okay, so that's all for this video. A quick one today just to introduce you to library management and the, the different ways that you can install different Python libraries into your Spark environment. 
to be used in your notebooks. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.